Stop. I'm just trying to have a good intro. Okay. Oh, By the way, uh, thank you. Ev uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of World of Tapir. Uh, just a heads up. If I sound a little weird, it's because I'm on the tail end of... Uh, I'm on the tail end of a 24-hour flu. I uh, have no idea how I caught a cold in the middle of summer. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, uh, in the last session, the False Sun crew had arrived in the capital city of Medicto, where they had uh, <coughs> visited the Ionian Institute and learned that everything about the turtle that Levere had awakened is going to be overseen by one of the Institute members uh, who is at odds with Dr. Tross. Um, they then made started making their way to the Amethyst Athenium uh, in order to research uh, something that they needed an institute member with, so they grabbed Dr. Tross to head over there. Meanwhile, Corvus had uh, visited a Temple of the Raven Queen uh, to learn about some of the champions of the Raven Queen, as well as what it means to be a champion, um, and then headed over to the Institute to uh, take a look about at the exhibit about the most recent champion or the exhibit that has info on the most recent champion. And there she met uh, one of the uh, Knights of Twilight, uh, the known as the Chronicler. Um, so, you're all walking, you all are walking down the uh, uh, road t heading to the uh, Amethyst Athenium. Meanwhile, Corvus is at the, is still at the Institute. So, what do y'all do? Oh shit, do we still need to get her? I, I mean, yeah, she's, do so. she's still at, at an exhibit. Uh, uh, she's I'm sure she's done. enjoying her time there. I think she'll get lost if she tries to leave. Uh, I mean, I'll, she'll get lost anyway. I'll, she's already I'll lost, technically. Uh... Alright, uh, I'll come along with you. Uh, I know my way around that building like the back of my hand, and if she is lost, then I'll be able to help get her out in a jiffy. Dr. Trust says, following you. How long have you had that mole under here, Dr. Trust? I was born with this mole on my hand. It's a very identifying marker. <laughs> <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee. <coughs> uh, Fine. So, Fine. you make your way back to... Alright, you make your way back to the, uh, uh, Institute. Uh, it doesn't take too long. You'd only been walking maybe, like, two minutes before you realized you forgot her. <laughs> um... What matters that we forgot her? Just look through there. Wait, give me exhibit. So, uh... Do y'all know where Corvus is? Nope. Do y'all know which exhibit she's at? Out of Not character? Yeah, she's at, uh... Well, yeah, no, but in character, no. Not one bit. Ah. Out of character, she's at the, uh... She's at Vampire. the, uh... Recent history exhibit. The section about the vampire thingy. Yeah. Vampire? <coughs> oh, don't you start. Hey, it's technically, spelled different. Yeah, technically it would be vampire. A vampire. There is a difference. What? There is a difference. <laughs> uh, so, Varen, which uh. exhibit are you going to go to to try and find Corvus? Uh... We're just kind of going to, like, look around, like, back and forth, and just kind of... Uh, I'll go that way. Right. going to start heading, going 
towards the left. All right, go ahead and uh, roll investigation with your new birthday dice. Yes. Oh, and I did grab it. Cool. Investigation. Investigation. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, it takes you like ten, maybe fifteen minutes before you eventually find her. Uh, she's talking to a green tiefling uh, in the exhibit about the uh, uh, Knights of Twilight as well as the uh, uh, the battle against the Storm of Pellcroft. The tiefling is in the middle of explaining something he says and the things that I wish more people knew about uh, vampire lords is that uh, their names are in of themselves curses. If he says the storm's real name it would summon a terrible storm to uh, destroy pretty much everything uh, on your ship. Uh, that's how he got his name, the Storm of Belcroft. Uh, uh, it's interesting. Oh. We're gonna just kind of like walk up. I did not look around there. and then look around at Corvus. Hello. Just came here to get uh, Corvus. We need to bring our uh, luggage. <laughs> You're not there. Yeah. Ah. Oh, is this one with you? I was just ah, entertaining yeah. her for a while, regaling stories of old. Oh, that's always fun. Stories are nice. Yes, I am uh, quite the author of stories myself. Mm. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Very nice. Yes. Uh, he does a small bow and says, I am the chronicler, Le Mot Nolim. And uh, holds out his hand for a shake. Nice to meet you. My name's Varen. She'll put her hand out and shake his hand. <sighs> nice to meet you too. Uh, my name is Albert. And he goes to awkwardly, and Dr. Tross goes to awkwardly shake his hand as well. Uh. <sighs> uh. So, Corvus. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Varen has just come to get you. Oh, uh, um. Hey, okay, Captain. Uh, everybody else has uh, left already, but I'm make sure Kim got you. So going somewhere else now. Um. Oh, sorry. I was just kind of absorbing the conversations over here, like an yeah. auteur um, has came over that grabbed my attention quite profusely. Yeah, no worries. I got to Yeah. You wanna... You wanna uh, see them? See them? See their work? Or are you just, uh, just going now? Oh. Uh, we're, we're going. I have a book... <laughs> Took a little bit to, right. to find you. I have a book signing uh, as, yeah. as this gotcha. place fairly yeah. soon if you All wish right, to. Alright, then. We'll see you later, Chronicler. Have a wonderful day. I mm -hmm. do have a book okay. signing if you ever want Thanks. to uh, come read my works. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, yeah. Yes. As y'all are heading back, uh, heading into the streets, doc uh, Dr. Tross says, <sighs> Seems like a charming fellow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Yes. Nice smile. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of facial hair. Never really was. Yeah, mm. so yeah I don't think I can see you with a mustache. Oh! Were you waiting out here this whole time for us? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, uh, uh, the uh, Athenium is right this way. And he uh, heads and starts uh, heading over to down the street and he says yes as an elf I'm not actually able to grow facial hair myself yeah. I don't think yeah. I can either gotcha. but that's because I can't grow hair yeah. maybe if I had a belt <laughs> of golden uh, neither kind neither can Kanko 
I mean, seriously, all we got is fluff from feathers. Yes. Well, it's got very soft, downy feathers. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I wonder what. Hmm. A fearsome pirate feather beard. That would be interesting. Mm. I wonder, <laughs> would a belt of dwarven kind be able to grow a beard on uh, someone feathered as yourself or scaled as yourself? A belt of what? A belt of dwarven kind. There are. Uh, belt of dwarven kind? Belt of dwarven kind. They're uh, very difficult to create and they're pretty rare. Uh, it's uh, something that one of my colleagues have uh, discovered on, uh, uh, well, discovered a couple of them in his, uh, uh, his excavations. Um, they imbue the wearer with traits of dwarves, such as uh, hmm. resistance to poisons and most notably, uh, the growth of facial hair. Baron's gonna look over oh. at Corvus and then Lavier and look back and forth between them, and then she's just gonna burst out laughing. That would be I mean, fucking hilarious. <laughs> that's still rude. I mean, just look at us. Like. <sighs> I mean, I can understand for like, um, Levira might actually be fitting for him, but... Me? You know, you know how awkward that would be. No. Like, Corvus is just puffy. Puff <laughs> like with like her cheeks blown up right now, it's just like... Mm. Oh yeah. I mean, the only, the only beneficial thing of that band is literally just the whole poison resistance, which I wouldn't mind using. In order to like keep myself like in the front lines, if we were dealing with like a poison dealer. Uh, well, that would be. I mean, it's not a guaranteed beard growth, from what I understand. It's more or less each morning there's a chance that you could grow some facial hair. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'd have to okay. reread his. Uh, yes. I'd have to reread the uh, research papers on them, but uh... Mm. I so think if I were to wear that belt, I think Lorcax might get mad. Mm, I mean, it is going onto his brand, you know? Yeah, perhaps. But uh... Yeah, but... Honestly though, is it is it an item that hasn't been found yet, despite it being made? Like, someone... No, there have been uh, a few that have been found. Okay. How else would we know about and, uh, it if it hadn't been found? No, I, I, I mean, I, I'm just only saying like a historical text can be quite an accurate like witness but to no, like, some uh, after effects of. I, I had stated that multiple had been found during excavations by one of my colleagues. Hmm. All right. And you're now currently in the market for one, right? Or just uh, talking about it? Well, I'm just talking about it. Like I said, I all cannot right, grow facial right. hair, and that made me wonder whether or not one of those belts would allow me to. Well, I mean, honestly, I would honestly say, live your life out to the fullest there. Go, go try your hand with one of them. See if the effects can actually help give you something that you longed for. I mean, uh, really, I mean, just sitting around here doing nothing about it, just only just talking about your dreams is not going to do well, anything. No, it's not it. a dream of mine. It was just a mild curiosity about the effects of uh, how the effects of magic would affect someone that it normally would not be able to receive uh, the effects naturally. Mm. If I that think makes that's sense. pretty interesting. Right. I gotcha, mm. I gotcha. Probably lots of items I mean, that like, can do stuff like that then. 
Maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. like, do you know? Do you know of like any um, excavation locations that are nearby here? Uh, nearby here? Uh, yeah. none in particular. Uh, Alright. I mean, the closest one was Tortu. Or will be Tortu. I guess is Tortu. Eh. Uh, is works. Yes. Is works. Yes. Is, unfortunately. Oh. I swear, if he breaks anything on there, I am going to have his head. Well, we still need to go to the higher up to see if we speaking. can change their mind. Uh, yes, I'll... I'll, uh... do my best with that. He looks very, very annoyed. In general. Mm -hmm. Eventually he does lead you to the Athenium. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. He, he goes in. Lots of awesome stuff. Now, it is very important that none of the books in here leave this building. You cannot take anything out. Understood. Understood. Okay. I glare they, they, they will I'll provide plenty of paper and ink for you to, uh, to copy down notes. Uh, or and things, but you cannot take the books out of the building. You cannot leave with them. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. They are uh, free to read. So they are not free to take. Uh, mm -hmm. And he uh, goes off to speak with one of the scribes. Uh, their conversation seems to last a couple of minutes. Uh, but eventually he returns and says, alright, so, uh, as a member of the Institute, I am going to be your chaperone, more or less, to make sure that you don't get into anything you're not supposed to. So, uh, I'll let you know if you're not supposed to get into it. Well, it's a very loud force inside this, uh, Athenium. Right. Mm -hmm. Athenium. So what yeah. is Athenium. it? Athenium. Yes, it's pronounced Athenium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Athenium. Uh, so what is it that you are trying to look into in particular? <laughs> um. Well, mm, I mean, aside from like maybe like some recent events. Uh, Trying to like discover some uh, certain key details for um for like a, for like a, a, any future landmarks that we might travel to for like um or maybe learning a bit about some lost civilizations stuff like that. Well, this would definitely be the place to go. Uh, for that, mm -hmm. this has much of the surviving uh, the tomes <laughs> from the incursion. <laughs> In the time before that, uh, yeah. All right. It would help to narrow down more what you're looking for. Uh, yes. I Not guess. Um, I guess. <laughs> I I guess I'll. I guess in a sense. Oh. You go. You go. You go. Uh, until you, uh, potentially need me for convincing, uh, I guess I'll just, uh, I don't know, read up on dragons, I guess? Alright. Mm. That should be similar I mean, enough. of course it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh. Um, I... I guess um specifically um looking to inquire about um an island close by to like my home. Like maybe learn about the the ancient myths about uh Tortug. Yeah. Oh that sushi? Oh 
You're mumbling quite a bit, huh, Princess? <laughs> you really shouldn't eat in the library. I don't think there are myths about Tortu. It was just the rock. Uh, not even a permanent one. Well, just hearing anything yep. about, like, um, when people first found it, that could definitely be something. Even if there's not anything specific about it. Alright. And you, Sushi, what is it that you're looking for? Well, a few things. Um, I was thinking about looking into, uh, you know, military history, weaponry, um, and the uh, history and possibility of uh, certain beings like demons and other outer planar beings being bound into items of magical make. Interesting. Uh, I'm sure we can find something. Uh, are you looking for anything in particular, Captain? Uh, not really. Alright. Uh. Alright, so I'm gonna need everyone who's trying to look into something, roll investigation. <laughs> oh right. boy, investigation. Ah. Alright, let's see how this goes with my minus one. I rolled a seven. I let's got see how this 17. goes. I've got better. I rolled a nine. I've got a plus one. Oh. I think me and me and Lafitte oh. got the same roll. Yeah, we both rolled Aww. an 8, but I rolled a 7, and she rolled a 9. Alright. Did we roll that? I'm so sorry, you two. Alright, uh, Levere, you can't really find anything on dragons. You're, you're pretty sure that you're not even in the right section to learn about dragons after a while. Uh, magical section. Yeah. You learn a lot about the uh, difference between uh, uh, peonies and uh, marigolds. Um, and then you run into Sushi, who is also in this section. And uh, reading the same book until you both realize that it's nothing at all what you were looking for. I it's like when you go onto Wikipedia and keep clicking links until you forget what you were originally trying to read about. Wait a minute, I wanted to learn about dragons. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the right place. It's gotta be a section about demons. Uh. That might be restricted. Yeah, so I just need to find the place with the locks on it, and then get someone to open them. I'm not helping you break into... I'm trying to help Al Albert, not get him in trouble. You don't need to break in to get him to open the, the door. That's his job, right? That's why we brought him here? So we can meet, enter, and to uh, restricted sections. I mean, maybe for you, I came so that we could, so that I could get Tortu. Yeah, but yeah, then why are you here in the Athenaeum? Because I'm here until he needs me. Look, the Institute is not where they decide who goes where. This is where they, they decide. The Institute's just a museum. This is mostly a library. I mean, yeah, to the public. You are the public. <laughs> I'm also an associate of a member of the Institute. So are we all. At this point, one of the scribes walks up to you and just says, Shh! I just wave a paw, not even looking. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Corvus, uh, with that 17, 
You do find a book about some of the settlements of, uh, the early settlement of, uh, the uh, kingdom, which would end up becoming Shamira. Um, you do learn that mm -hmm. there's a, par a, a paragraph about Tortu and how some settlers tried to settle it, but they found the ground to be too hard to, uh, build anything or farm turn into farmland or really do anything with mm -hmm. that is all you can find on Tortu. Uh, uh -huh. alright well I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get some parchment out there and just write down this little bit like on parchment just so I could uh, pass this over to like to the team Okay. Uh, Varen, wander around, just pull random books off the shelf, open it and read, see if anything looks interesting, if it's not interesting, close it and put it back and find another book. Alright, roll investigation. Uh, 17. 17? Alright. Uh-huh. Uh, as you're reading, you do find that all the books seem to have one thing you notice is all the books right on their front cover they all seem to have one glyph on it in the same place the same glyph uh, it seems to be uh, some sort of decorative eye um, uh, that matches the uh, ones on the outside of the building um. Neat. Uh. All right. I'm just gonna find a table, get like a piece of parchment, and just doodle on it. Yeah. All right. After several hours with really nothing, uh, uh, with none of your research really coming to bear any fruit, uh. Eventually, Tra says, "All right, I think that's probably going to be about as much time as we're going to get here today. Uh, it's almost going to be the sun's going to be setting fairly soon." Right, that's kind of boring. Uh. Yeah, well, it's the it's the most important part of uh, discovering things is. Researching to learn where you need to go. It'd be easy to just point on. It'd be easy to just point on a map and uh, just go there, see if anything's there. But I mean, that's not how you uh, discover things. If that makes yeah. sense. You go there and then you look. Exactly. <laughs> well, it, it definitely helps if you have reason to spec suspect there's anything there. Mm-hmm. The flash and flare of discovery is built on mountains of research. Library is. Well, I do don't really read much. <laughs> so. I don't like it here. I can't find anything. <sighs> I didn't find any dragon books. Well, I saw both of you. You were in the East Wing all the time. Could have helped. He was busy. I was busy. I had my own research that I needed to do. You know who do. else could have helped? Can I just like stare directly at uh, Ramen? Uh, sorry. Why didn't you ask Ramen for help? I don't know. She disappeared. I I was I was looking for uh, reading material with Udon. And that is fine. And then I just pat her head. Alright. Uh, uh, roll perception real quick, as you do. 
everyone or just just sushi all right ten okay uh sadness uh, <laughs> okay eventually you perceive sadness at your role eventually uh Eventually, Dr. Trost leads y'all out of the library and says, Uh, I'm going to go stay at my room, uh, provided to me by the Institute, but you all will have to get your own in or sleep in the ship if you want. Um, how long do you plan on staying in town? I don't know. Well... We mostly came here because it's a big port city, and we were kind of hoping there'd be something near. But I, but now that I know that there is a big research institute, I don't think there's any undiscovered dungeons nearby. Yeah, that's unless they're always... deep, deep underground and completely buried, only to. Uh, only for an earthquake to reveal them, like with the uh, one in Esfold. Uh, we can always try to find ourselves some work. One in Esfold, or that slide dungeon. Yes, that too. That was. There's revealed. been a lot of earthquakes for me, really. It really has, and it's got me concerned. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. What? Okay. Lavere's just gonna climb up on Tross and like hold him by the shoulders, uh, like eat on his waist. <laughs> yes. Uh, what? Tross. What? What if it's another shattering? What? What if it's a shattering? Uh, that would be very bad. So she's gonna try to grab uh, Lavere's tail. Ah! Hug. Tug. Lavier Tug. falls off. <laughs> you know, I was actually wondering if this would pop off like a lizard's. It takes a lot more force than that. Yes, let's not cut off people's tails here in public. For one, it okay. takes a lot more force. For two, okay. there will be blood. And for three... I need it for balance. Please do not remove my tail. I wasn't intentionally going to remove your tail. I just was wondering if it would happen. That sounds like it's intentional. If it was experimentation! It's only experimentation if you write something down. Robin. Otherwise it's just shenanigans. Give me a piece of paper! Uh, uh, ramen hands you a uh, piece of paper and a quill. Uh, I just... Suji just looks down on the pa paper, takes it, and then just writes down, Times Levere tail has fall fallen off. Uh, zero. And then Incorrect. it back to Rum. <laughs> uh, In my presence! Shush. Yeah, you just put an asterisk uh, and at the bottom, just write, In my presence. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Alright. Tail grow back? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, cobalt parts grow back, uh, eh, it depends on how long, really? Or, what, like, what fell off? How long? Like, the dragon I've, I've seen. I've seen some folks lose an arm and it comes back after a couple years. It's a little Deep nubby now. for a while, though. See, now my tail uh. is not going to come back. Like That's because tail. you are a mammal. <laughs> <laughs> I am a mammal. Uh. <laughs> well, Meanwhile, my superior dragon blood. Nah. Well, nah, uh, I'm just a lizard. It's just because I'm a lizard you're... thing. I mean, you're like, you're, you, you've got like 10%, um, you've got like 10% dragon and 90% like gecko. So, I'm mm. honestly surprised you don't have like I mean, climbing speed. Everyone roll perception. Yeah, I'm just like, really, guys, we really need this. Jesus. Why am I getting such bad I rolls? fall. <laughs> I fall over. 
I got 13. I rolled a natural oh, one. I'm changing my dice. Oh god. Oh god, I got 18. a 7. Right. I'm changing uh. my dice. Alright, well, uh... None of y'all notice this, but at some point during this conversation, Dr. Tross has just left. Like, so, while, while, y'all are, while y'all are discussing about, like, whether or not mammals can regenerate uh, their tails, uh, you look back and Dr. Tross is just gone. He just left. Ah. Oh no! Let's be glad yeah. that, um, LaVier Le- isn't trying to sell us star insurance. We'll be done with it. Uh, What's honestly, a car? I... Levere Pats Levere Pats is broken horn. I mean, this thing's almost finished. Give this another month, and I'll have my full horn back. How does it sharpen to a point? That just happens. How does it? How does it not grow from the skull? How does it? We said you said it yourself. Magic. Dragons. Dragons are magic. I am distantly related to dragons. My little dungeons. Dragons are magic. Uh, How did you lose it anyway? Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Well, uh, when my form- when my- when my old ship was attacked by some sort of sea monster, uh, uh, the ship was rocked and I hit my head very hard. Damn. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I can I still feel like anymore. this chat was a bit, was a bit much, you know. This what? Uh, the chat was a bit much about like uh, trying to hear the needs and details about like. A mammal regeneration and such, you know. What? <sighs> it's kind. Of... Are we going somewhere? What? We should probably head back to the ship and see if Cross went there. I mean, yes. I... No, he said he was going to his room. Yeah, he has his own uh, room here. Or something. Let's find a quest or something. Uh. Uh. I mean, if you're trying to like look for a means of like raising money for like uh, for like the crew, I mean, I'll have to tag along with you. Despite my better I, judgment. I look around. I wanna. Uh, I look around and try to see if. Hey, um, Silver, can I, from this place I am standing, see the uh, the harvesters hall? No, y'all are standing right outside of the uh, Athenium. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, sunset. Oh, we should probably just, just go ahead and go. Yeah, the streaks of uh, the streaks of light are start starting to uh, uh, dance across the sky as uh, the sun finishes setting uh, and the guiding lights uh, take place. What? The gu- the lights in the sky. There's no stars. Yeah. Oh. It's the guiding lights. Yeah. Oh. Imagine aurora borealis mm. across the whole world. All They're right. very useful for navigation. That's just a spell, isn't it? Mm. Just a giant no. spell? No, it's caused by, I think... Magic. Electromagnetic shit? I don't know. Magic. Well, y'all have no reason to think that it's anything strange. This is how the world's always been. Yeah. That's just how the world's been. Even as far back as the uh, first era. Wait, hold on. I need to do some some deep thinking. I'm gonna. We're gonna continue to stand in this square. I'm gonna try and roll history to see if I can remember something from my dream. Okay. The one where I was on the mountain I, 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 shattering. Corvus is like uh, right now climbing up to the crow's nest right now, just trying to no. stare at like the sunset. still in the tree. 
Yeah, y'all are I still don't in the street. Y'all are we, still we in the street, uh, right outside the Athenium. <laughs> we're we gonna lead him back to the stoke. I don't remember any big details, no. Yeah. In fact, you remember less about your dream than you did earlier. It's a good thing I wrote it down. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Jeez. Y'all are still in the uh, Primrose I was trying to, I was trying to see if I could remember anything about the sky, but then, it, then as I was rolling out, I remembered, oh wait, it was storming very bad. Yeah. You remember there were clouds, and lightning clouds. and rain. So surprising. Yeah. So Let's we're all heading. The amaranth. Uh, Varen's gonna lead everybody back to the ship. Okay. All right. Back to the ship. All right. Yep. As y'all are heading back to the ship, y'all would pass the Harvesters Hall, uh, a massive building uh, that rivals the uh, Institute or the Athenium, um, and it is incredibly decorative. Um, uh, that looked like a place we could get quests. You do see quite a number of uh, what looks like well-seasoned uh, adventures, for lack of a better term, uh, sitting outside. There's a... Uh, out, just outside, there does seem to be, like, an outdoor, uh, like, seating area for people to just relax outside. There are... Uh, people with like that do seem to be pretty high level adventures essentially you know decked out in like full plate armor uh, drinking uh, ale right in the uh, right in public see that there that looks like a place we should go Well, maybe in a bit. Okay. We can go there tomorrow. <sighs> Alright, so where are y'all headed? Are y'all uh, getting a, a room at the inn, or are you getting a... Uh, are you sleeping in the ship? Uh... Well, considering the time, I'd probably say the ship, and then, like, if we decide we want to stay somewhere, we can make arrangements, like, tomorrow or something. Mm. Go back to our rooms. Good, good idea, good idea. I mean, let's not go, let's not go expensive yet, you know? Yeah. You're expensive. I'm a treasure. <laughs> well, I mean, you look like one big old coin, so. Uh, excuse you, but I've never seen a brass coin in circulation. I'm gonna just be between, like, like, copper. I've seen bronze coins. Close enough. Where have you seen bronze coins? Poor people! They use copper. No, bronze is below copper. I've never seen bronze. I think you're, you're lying. Copper's the lowest. No, bron bronze exists. Just only in some places. Bronze is used for, like, swords and stuff. And also is less expensive than copper. There are more expensive metals than copper used in the production of bronze. No, because it is just refined copper ore from places that are tin rich. It also tends to have other metals. Yeah, metal and sometimes metalloids. But the shittiest of bronze is literally just the ore where the ore is mixed in together. Well, then they're, they're being used as copper. But that's not copper. It's bronze. It's just shitty if it, bronze. If it's the local mint and it's shitty copper, then it's still a copper coin. Doesn't count as copper 
It's half a copper piece. It's a bronze piece. Never seen them in circulation. You're lying. How dare you lie to me? I'm telling you, it's it's a thing. It's just not in most places. Yeah, sushi is a modern day Enos here. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna tell me is there's cobalt coins. I think there's like one nation of cobalts that makes coins, but not really. It's mostly not just cobalt. Cobalt. Oh, you know that I fancy mean, blue metal. I mean, probably, but it, wouldn't it be like higher than platinum? Who's gonna deal with that? Oh, yes, I'm going to have a coin made of solid diamonds. I know there That's is. Ridiculous. Uh, I know above that would be, uh, or a calcum coin. I've heard of them. They're these, uh, they're red gold. That's not a real, that's not a real metal. Uh, yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's a magical red gold. That's from Kingdom Hearts. That's not a real metal. <laughs> Alright, so as y'all have this uh, conversation of what coins do and don't exist, um, I'm sure Sushi certainly believes that they do. Um, the uh, uh, You eventually make it back to the ship and retire to your chambers. Uh... Is there anything else y'all want to do before uh, y'all go to sleep? Uh, nah. I'm good. Oh. Alright. Uh, I'm just now remembering that Levere's room is a, is a 10 by 10 square. Uh, but it's fine because he's small. Yeah. Still better than that uh, jail cell. Oh yeah. Uh, so, deep in the night, sushi. Go ahead and roll perception. I. I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not doing too well on these. I'm gonna roll uh, a d20. Clearly, that's not helping me. All right, you I'm sleep through a the night. Just turned Price. I got a night one. Sushi, you sleep through the night per with, uh, you have one of the best sleeps you ever had. Nothing wakes you up at all. We're not uh, rolling well today. Oh. You know, uh, eventually morning sets in and, uh, everyone starts to wake up. Uh, you guys are getting me back for your, your, um, performance during the one shot <laughs> the uh <laughs> your your uh servants are still asleep when you wake up <sighs> but uh other than that it's a perfectly normal morning Levir is going to get himself some rum from the ship's rum supply. All right. <laughs> so Levir gets started early with uh, getting some day drunk. Are you drinking enough to actually get drunk, or just to uh, have some hair of the dog? Uh, just a bit of hair of the dog. You know, watering it down. He's very used to military ration. Okay. Uh, in terms of alcohol. All right. He, he he misses having lime, but oh well. But the lime. Oh. We've got sugar. We've got water. We've got rum. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Corvus we need to so buy limes. <laughs> We're gonna get scurvy. I'm imagining uh, Lavier saying this like at the breakfast table. <laughs> we need to buy limes. Yeah, we, we do. Okay, first thing of the day, we go to the local farmer's market and we buy all of the limes. I do Maybe some limes? lemons if we can afford it. You're a lime. 
And just gonna I'm shrug yellow and to she's be gonna alive. She's gonna check on her loot and make sure it's in tune. Mm. Maybe play Corvus a little something. Corvus is just like staring. Corvus is just staring out, like despite her sitting on the table, she's not focusing at all on what everyone else is talking about right now. Interesting. Just looking out to the great blue. Mm. Don't be enticed by the ocean. He's the cruel uh, mistress. Alright. So, uh, uh, what were you what were you looking for, Varen? What? No, Varen's just gonna make sure her loot is in tune and uh maybe play a little something on it for a minute or two. What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, how You play a little morning ditty to help wake yourself up. You just need a license to play on our own ship. Yeah. You just need a <laughs> permit to play out on the streets. There's there's anti-busking laws in this city. Never stop the people in New York. <sighs> well, this isn't New York. This is Madikto. Yep. Uh. It's so. a town likely built around the Institute. Uh, so, what, uh... What's y'all's plan for the day? Lines. And uh, money. Why a line? Because, uh, Sushi, we don't want scurvy. No I scurvy. like fruits, but... Do you want your gums to bleed stuff? and your, all of your teeth to fall out? And your skin mm. to slough off? I think technically I would get Trying more to get to getting that because of disease resistance. It's resistance, not immunity. You'd last Corvus longer, but you get it. Look... Mm. Corvus is gonna mm -hmm. try to look what? Gonna try to look for temporary employment. Uh, trying to look at the same places where she's uh, she went to yesterday. Just trying to get some information, like if they maybe have some jobs and when she might be able to do like in a day or two. She got. Want to try to raise up some coin. All right, and uh, which uh, place are you going to be asking? Mm, well, first, um, I'm going to try to. Um, I know it's like the place in which, like, um, I believe Sushi was like mentioned about, like seeing like Hardy Adventures. I'm going to try to like check that tavern first. All right. Well, it's not a tavern. It's giant, like it's yeah. a giant building. Yeah, it's, it's a massive... I think building. technically it is actually bigger than the other two. It's about the same drums. size. Mm. If you look at the map. Mm. Well, it's also... The other two have multiple floors. Yeah. It's not... It, mm. It's not... It's... it's um, Footage... Wider. Yeah, footage-wise, it's probably about the same size. <coughs> It just looks bigger from the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's wider than I either gotcha. of the other ones. Mm. Yeah, it's so nowhere Corvus near is it. just... Yeah, Corvus is trying to, like, uh, strike it out on her own to see if she can find something. If she could do it by herself, or if not, just go back to the gang with this information. Alright. Well, uh, you walk in and... You are surrounded by many, many, many different people of various experiences of uh, mm -hmm. adventuring. Um, you do see one person. There does seem to be, like, a few what could be considered front desks. Um, you can see uh, one person is, like, talking to another uh, about some papers, seems to be negotiating some kind of contract. Uh, another seems to be uh, presenting various uh, monster parts. Um, but there does seem to be one uh, there does seem to be one front desk that is open. Uh, the person heading it is a halfling, a uh, halfling male. 
He's got like he's got some dark hair, but it grays towards the tips, um, and he's got some very thick-looking glasses. Mm. As well as a uh, big bushy, mornings. as well as a big bushy mustache. Mm. Um. Uh, good morning, sir. I approach. I approach the halfling gentleman. Like on their available desk. Ah, welcome. Ah, how can I help you? I uh, like. Are you turning in a contract? <coughs> Maybe not a long-term one per se. I'm looking for some short-time contracts, you know, uh, something like a, around the realm of the city, that perhaps maybe um, someone with my skills might be able to um, assist your guys' uh, establishment with. And what's your affiliation? My affiliation is that of the Raven Queen. I am one with her services. I, I mean, are you part of a... Uh, a guild, or are you a freelancer? Or? Mm, I would assume freelancer. Yeah, okay. Uh, how many, uh, how many monsters have you got under your belt? Monsters? I. Uh, yeah. How I how mean, many people? How, how many? Beasts and monstrosities have you slain? N not really beasts or monstrosities. Maybe uh, giving credit like as doing like uh, quite a bit of damage to a devil, but that's really it. Ooh. So yeah, you ever really fought any anything like that? But you managed to take down a devil single-handedly. Oh, uh, not single-handedly. I had the assistance of allies. Oh, I thought you said you were a freelancer. Uh, yeah, freelancer. Like, it's just a group, not affiliated with anything, but it's not like we're a guild. Mm. Right, right. Uh, go ahead and roll Persuasion. Alright. Alright, so let's just get this stuff done. Uh, ooh. Oof. Well, he looks you up and down and looks you all around and says, Well, yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't think the harvesters of Shalm are really looking for someone that doesn't have the proper experiences yet or someone who um, seems to be exaggerating their accomplishments yeah and one who's got some inconsistencies with their claims but uh there's nothing I can really do for you now, but if you get some more experience under your belt and maybe find some uh, team to work with, then there might be some work for you yet. Okay, I, I do have a crew, but it's just... Uh, it's not inconsistencies if I just bring up the information when you ask, but all right. Um, well, I asked oh, what your affiliations myself. were. It's a, it's just like a, a fledgling crew, you know, like we just barely started on this like a wide world journey, you know. Well, a group of multiple people have a higher chance of success than a single person alone. You are more it's than the sum of your parts. Yes, that is very true. Yeah. Mm. Uh, like, uh, 
Like, have you heard um, news about Silver Mistal? Nah. Uh, yeah, I have not heard much news about Silver Mistal. Uh, the Harvesters of Shom uh, do have a branch there, a uh, Baitin Ravel. Uh, they would be the ones mm. that would be. Uh, uh, that would be their franchise's jurisdiction. Mm. Yeah, well, um, Our jurisdiction if you, if you is any... over mm -hmm. the Shamira. Uh, it is over Shamira. Alright. Mm. Just, um, basically, um, if you do catch wind of uh, that news, then that's the incident I was referring to about the devil. But, um, yeah, um, I'll. I'll come back here with like my crew, uh, with like my crew, um, and just uh, you could let us know the details if you seem convinced enough uh, based on our lineup. All right. Right. As you uh, turn around, you can see Sushi standing right there behind you. Erg, oh. what are you doing here? I'm trying to inquire possible uh, employment for myself. And you didn't uh, think to stay with me? Honestly, was trying to see if I could find some solo employment, but um, I guess since well, you're here you now, either I'm... can you either stay with me and I can do this, or you can go. Why don't you try to get a job at your temple? I thought that was what you were off to uh, anyway. Honestly, that was going to be the second thing I was going to do. I just wanted to try. Wouldn't that have been the place... first place you were going? I mean, yes, but I wanted to try out something new, you know? I heard how excited you were about this place yesterday. I... Yeah, that's why I'm here. And second yeah. of all, I don't know if hunting things is new. We've done it like th five times now. Twice with those devils. And then we went hunting the other time and we killed those bandits. And then the thing happened. That was a problem. You know, you... I'm gonna bat the bird. Just, just, I'm just trying roll to be honest. I want to bat the bird. All right. Roll an strike. Yeah, roll an unarmed. It, it's just uh, D20 plus strength. Yeah. Um, let's see. Fifteen. Oh, no, wrong one. That's the same anyway. Oh, that's that. That's a that. Oh, it's that. Okay. It's the same anyway, I rolled the wrong one, but... Your strength is only plus um, two? Yes, I have a lot of bonuses when it's a saving throw, but when it's just pure strength, it's only a plus two, because I haven't gotten Next any. time you get an ASI, put some I haven't on gotten one yet! Yeah. Because you can Next time. Yeah. <laughs> mm, uh, um, and that that actually no. doesn't hit me. That... <laughs> you go to bap the bird, but the bird just dodges out of the way. I want to try to flick the bird on the, the beak. Just a, just a teeny little. Eh. <laughs> all right, all right. You uh, two know each other. Yes, uh, yeah, she and I are, are are companions of the same crew. Okay. She's our healer. Right. right. And how many of them are there on your crew then? Uh, it depends on what you mean precisely. Technically, uh, there's how uh, many are willing to fight? Well, technically, that would be five. Uh, but the problem with that is that we usually end up losing uh, one person to a drunken stupor or some stupid chess game. So, uh, usually four. And who is the leader of your group? Uh, the captain of. The oh, that would be a. Uh mm -hmm. Yeah, Captain Baron. All right. It, great. If you bring them, as well as the people who are willing to fight, then we can see about getting you an affiliation with the Harvesters. I was just hoping to pick up like a, a bounty or something. It's a lot easier. 
elsewhere. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, Alrighty then. Alright. I follow the bird. Alright. So, Vera and Livia, what are y'all doing while they're uh, doing all that? Getting limes. Huh? Getting <laughs> limes. Getting limes. Okay. Mm. Captain the first like mate. Know the, know, the, know the importance of citrus. All right. <laughs> y'all go to this the market. This is the moment where we cut from like the uh, the main plot to them, and then they're like singing a song about limes and like. <laughs> We're the bold, B plot. Bold, bold of you to assume that they are the B plot. Oh, this is more of a. Okay, this is. You're right. This is like a Steven Universe episode. The one about singing about limes is probably the A plot. <laughs> yeah. The one where we're adventuring and fighting demons. That's the B plot. Oh yeah. No, the, yeah. the real importance is saving our health. Yeah. With, with vitamin C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that to is. remember to regularly have like oranges and shit people listening, or else you could get scurvy and die. Yeah, and you really don't want to be known as the person who died of scurvy in the 21st century. Getting, getting, vitamin, getting enough vitamin C for that requires, like, one banana a month. It's fine. Bananas don't have vitamin C. They have potassium. They have they, potassium. They do, they do have vitamin C as well. Uh, not enough to prevent scurvy. It's a, they have enough if you... It's not... One it a month is not much. enough. One a month doesn't... is not enough to prevent scurvy. One medium, Just eat oranges. One medium banana has ten milligrams of vitamin C. It doesn't require much vitamin C to get. Just eat an uh, orange. Bad. Just have a smoothie. Just eat smoothies it. won't last. Okay. Smoothies so, won't last. Here, here, get a clementine, peel it, and shove it in your mouth. I'm look. I'm looking it up on Google. One seven-inch banana one, has one ten part. milligrams of of vitamin C. A small orange that is less than three inches wide has fifty-one. Just eat an orange. Just eat fifteen kumquats. Uh, not because it's healthy or anything, but because it's fun to say kumquat. Yeah, you need a hundred twenty. <laughs> uh, an adult needs a hundred twenty milligrams daily of vitamin C to prevent scurvy. Yeah, that's like three. That's less than three small that's, uh, oranges. Yeah, that's a hundred and twenty seven-inch bananas a day. <coughs> Olivia, what did you throw seven-inch bananas? You would die of potassium poisoning if you did that. <laughs> no, you wouldn't die of potassium poisoning. You'd probably die of bursting your stomach. <laughs> it does not require oh. that much. And not get scurvy. It, it, it doesn't require very much. It's. I mean, it doesn't require that much if you're eating fruits that are rich in vitamin C. Who eats fruits? Or taking fruits? supplements. Go, people don't eat fruit anymore. People listening, people go, go to your time. local Dollar General and buy a thing of vitamin drop, vitamin no, C drops. Just, it's just candy. Just, it's just citrus candy. It's delicious. It's a dollar. Right. Yeah, that is actually valid. I, I I like those. Uh, uh, we're getting way distracted. We are getting way distracted. So, <laughs> Levere and Varen, well, go ahead and roll in. investigation. That's why the limes is the A plot. I rolled a sixteen. Uh, I rolled a six. Oof. <laughs> uh, Varen, you do find some uh, limes, but they look out of season. They're not green like they normally are. They're very yellow. Uh, Lavier, you recognize them as lemons. Right next to it is the limes. Here we go. Uh. Are limes just unripe lemons? I... I... Ah! Uh. They're fruit. <laughs> Alright, uh... We should try... We should see how much the lemons are. They they have, like, twice as much. They are more expensive, usually. They do seem to be more expensive. The uh, person running the shop is a, uh, a drow man who has a... Uh, uh, who wears a, a hood to protect his sensitive skin from the hot sun up above. 
I um, guess the drow would probably have a problem with his, getting uh, enough vitamins. <laughs> yeah, his uh, his entire stand has like one of those awnings uh, that make it twenty degrees colder. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and so uh, Help he says, "Preserving the fruit." Yes, yes. He says, "Welcome. Is there something that you are looking for?" Uh, citrus. Well, then you came to the right place. These are fresh imported from Elm. Uh, what is it that you're looking for particularly? We have many kinds. We have oranges. We have mandarins. We have lemons and limes. Uh, all the citrus you could need. Well, while a nice, while an orange is nice every now and then, I do prefer the sour zest of a lime or a lemon. Mixes better with rum. Yeah, well, that is very it does. true. Uh, well, we do have. Hmm, we do have something that is very, very rich in. Vitamin C. If you are interested, and he pulls out a green, uh, a couple of uh, green fruits. Uh, they look like pears, but with the rind of a lemon, or uh, with a mm. with the rind of a lime. And he cuts it open, and the inside is like reddish like kind of like a watermelon without seeds huh. what is, what is, what is this this is a very rare plant uh, it grows in only a very small portion of elm uh, the soil surrounding the Gamil mountain uh, grown by the dwarves there it uh it is very, very delicious. They call it a guva. Here, yeah, try it. And he hands each of you that a uh, half of it. Since he cut it in half, he hands one half to Sushi, or one half to Varen, one half to Lavir. Varen's gonna sniff it try first this. before she tries it. It smells pretty decent. Uh, is the rind edible, or should I peel it? Uh, well, some people can use it as zest. It's no more edible than a, uh, than a lemons. Yeah, alright. Uh, I like a lemon. I take out, a, I take out one of my daggers, edible. and I use it to, uh, dig out the flesh. Alright. Just kind of like open it up with like her hands yeah it smells mm. very sweet it's a guava it is hmm. uh, whoa when you eat it, it when you put it in your mouth it tastes it tastes like a strawberry and a pear and it's a very interesting taste very, it's pretty good if you like strawberries. I just and pears. looked it up. Guavas are really high in vitamin C. Yeah. Uh, like, okay. Don't you hate pears? No, pears are okay. They have over four times as much uh, as uh, oranges. Uh, to, uh, to prevent scurvy, you would only need to eat one of these every two days. Every three days. Hmm. Nice. Tempting. How much are they, how, how much are they a piece? Uh, a piece, they are five silver. Hmm. We'll just get a few of those then. We'll just get a few. Yeah. Uh, how much for a uh, quarter cask of limes? 
a cut a cask of limes. Uh, let's see. That is uh, a volume of 50 liters, by the way. 50 liters. Yeah. Never right. forget us talk. Yeah, I, I know. Several several D and D campaigns of us going. Okay, so here's how big one certain barrel is. Yes, yes, I I, I know. Uh, a got a cask is going to of limes is going to run you about three gold. Mm. All right, all right, and uh, of lemons. That will be five gold. All right, I can front that. Uh. I'll get a uh, I'll get a quarter cask of uh, limes and one of lemons. Wonderful. I hand over eight gold. Yeah, it starts. Uh, he gra he pulls out a uh, some small barrels, which you recognize to be about the size of a quarter cask. Uh, and no, starts might filling be a person, but who knows? Huh? And starts oh. filling them with the respective fruits uh, and rolls them to you. Thank you. <sighs> And, uh, and, uh, here is five, here's an extra five gold for ten of those guavas. Uh, wonderful. Pleasure doing business with you. He, uh, pulls out a small sack, a, uh, small burlap sack to, uh, put ten of the guavas in and hands it to you. Wonderful. Uh. If you ever need more, you know where to find me. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let's get these back to the ship. Yeah. All right. So, y'all return to the ship around the same time uh, Sushi and Corvus do. Uh, Corvus and Sushi, you see uh, Varen and Levere heading uh, to the ship, each one carrying a small barrel uh, of... Uh, fruit, and one of them is also holding a burlap sack of uh, what seems to be some kind of fruit, judging by the shape of the lumps. Mm. I'd like to go grab a lemon. Mm. The top of the cask is closed. Mm. Please, I lemon. Give. You can wait. My hands are full. Your hands are always full. Mm. My hands are currently full of lemons, mm. so you can wait. Yeah, okay. I see first mate and captain doing the responsible thing right now. Oh yeah, I don't want mm. anybody to die scurvy. That'd be a fucking ridiculous way to go, you know? I mean, all, only amateur sailors go from scurvy nowadays. Mm-hmm. I'm honestly surprised it's taken us this long to get some limes. Yeah, I kind of kept forgetting about it. I used to just like get some with the when I came to port, mm. alcohol and stuff. Uh, so question for for quantity about how many limes and lemons have we got? Uh, let's see, quarter cast. You said it's uh, how many? Fifty about fifty liters each. Okay. I don't feel like volume is the best measurement of fruit. Because they're round. Uh, let's see. Let me let's make a liter of water. Oh god. There's a lot of math involved. Uh. uh so. Um, this, this math thread says liters, but they end up doing it in gallons. Ah, uh, uh, poop! Dang it, metric system! I was lo I was looking up something that I saw hydrated lime, and I was like, "Oh, those must be some well watered limes." And then I'm remembering, nope, it's talking about like limestone, <laughs> calcium hydrate. Ugh. So, um, lime is useful for. I'd say that you probably got like. Uh, you probably got like seventy-five each. All right. 
Mm. Yeah, you got uh, about 75 of each. I'm adding it to the notes. All right, 75 lemons, 75 limes, and 10 guavas. Or as they pronounce them here, guava. Guava. That makes it sound more fancy. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the mountains of Gamil. Farmed by dwarves. Fancy. Isn't Gamil the place we need to go to, like, either get a free drink or get beat up? I do believe so. Which, by mentioning the name of Shermie. Yes. Yep, the Gamil Mountain. Yep. One of the uh, mountains of the Tetrange. range. Um, let's see. Shermie? Shermie. Shermie is what again? Shermie was, uh... A dwarf that we visited in Sillar Mistal. Uh, he was the. He was the armorer, right? Yes, the blacksmith. <clears throat> the one that. And uh, I have made... the lemon now. Now that we're back on the ship, yes, you can have a lemon. I take a lemon. <laughs> Are you just going to peel and eat a lemon? Like an orange? Um, half that sentence. Uh, Suji just takes a bite out of the lemon and just starts eating it. Like, like an, an apple. apple. Okay, roll constitution. She has poison resistance. That's poison not... resistance doesn't I guess matter. It I guess it wouldn't resist acid, would it? I mean, there's also the fact that lemon peel on its own is bitter. Yeah. Have you ever eaten a lemon or orange peel? Oh yeah, you, you somehow, like you, yes, Lavere, 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 you watch in awe and disgust as she uh, bites into the lemon as though it were an apple, and between the bitterness of the rind and the sourness of the juice, has no indication that it's affecting her at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's actually how I eat lemons. It's a uh, pretty good. I you are a monster. First. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I will peel lemon. The the the, the no, rind well you, is way no, no, too no. thick. What you do is you cut it in half, put some sugar on it, just lick the sugar off. No, well, yeah, literally no, you can what I do sugar. is I'll get a lemon and peel it like an orange and eat the slices. I mean, like I'll either I eat it, it like an apple slices. or I will <laughs> cut it in half. Stick it in sugar and just eat the whole fucking thing. I, I by, do not uh, do this very often. Dumping it in sugar. But no, um, I do not way. peel and eat lemons very often because that is a lot of acid and it is hell on my teeth. But it is delicious. Well, no, it's just that the, the the rind is so thick. I don't know how to use peel those. Things. I don't clip my nails very often. All right, all right. So Ow. uh, that's gotta hurt. All right. So, no, I just um, dig my anyhow, thumbnail and it works. I mean, peeling oranges hurts. I'm going to go have... ahead and... How does peeling an orange hurt? Are your nails thin as tell? No, it's, it's just that when the, the stuff gets on my skin, it burns. That's because you probably have a citrus allergy. No, it's just acidic. It's just acid. It's literally trying to eat me. So is a lemon. But if I just eat it, then I can consume that which is trying to eat me. It's like trying to eat a gelatinous cube. Okay, don't call me out like that. <laughs> uh, so, y'all, you've returned to the ship, you've eaten your lemon, while uh, the captain and the first mate are trying to put stuff in uh, storage. You know, I bet Bucket probably would be lime flavored. Uh. So, mm, what so, do y'all do? Um, I'm, ju I'm just informing the captain of like uh, my attempt to like trying to uh, acquire like a uh, solo employment, and only came across uh, something that would only require like the entire crew on deck for, for something. If I were to get some sort of like uh, employment from like a, uh, from like the huntery. 
Yeah, and, and that sushi was also there. So like assist me with that. Like it looks like she came later on after I thought like it, w it could have been a one and done deal, but I guess they really need groups or something. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lavier and Varen, go ahead and uh, roll history to see if you have any idea what she's talking about. No. Uh, Twelve. Oh, God. I rolled a two. Oh, God. Oof. I'm, I'm yeah. going to start rolling an actual die. I'm going to start rolling a... <laughs> what did she say? What is she talking about? Uh, so, Lavier, you have no idea what the hell Corvus is talking about. Varen, you're vaguely aware. You've seen the buildings whenever you were in a capital city. You're vaguely aware of the organization, but not really much. You just oh, know right, that. that there's something something a, an, or, uh, an organization that does stuff involving hunting monsters or something like that. It, way, it was never in your realm of uh, it was never in your realm of interest. Yeah, I never that. really paid that much attention. I was always busy with other shit. Yeah. I mean, hell, even my home he had one. No. It was only in the capitals. Uh, they're they're only in the capital cities. Mean. Uh, Disrespectful. You're the one trying to impart lore into a world that's not your Hi. own. Yeah. Technically a capital. You're not sovereign. Yeah. Only by technicality. Uh, Only by every single law other the than land. the rule other than where you're from. Nobody else claimed the land, so it is ours. I mean That's you're... like me saying Tortu's mine because I turned it on. Well, you could just take it. Drive it away. It should be fine. Didn't have enough power. And uh, we could have waited. We we went back to it after a week and saw that it went up maybe a percent. Did we go back? I don't remember yeah, going we back. back. Remember we grabbed we grabbed we grabbed Tross and then we went back so that we could get Honestly, the Honestly I forgot Dr. Tross wasn't with us the whole time. You know, he uh, stayed in uh, Esfield. He stayed in Esfield, and then we were like, then we, then we came back, and we were like, "Hey, so uh, Tortu is a a turtle," and he was like, "Show me." What? He was like, "It's what? Take me there." Yes. Mm -hmm. You're a turtle. He abandoned helping all the residents of Esfield to go see a <laughs> turtle. <laughs> uh. Sure. Wasn't there a turtle in Esfield? No. Uh, Brian. So, no turtle species? Okay. No, there was no turtle. There was no anthropomorphic turtle people. There was no, there was no ninja turtle. <laughs> uh. I feel like ninja turtles is a thing. Yeah, turtle monks, although most people call them Ugwe. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, back to the game. So, yeah, I back guess uh, only the captain has a slight, uh, slight idea of what I'm trying to say. Yep. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> yes. I'm just like... Mm. Hey, uh, like as soon as you guys finish off with like the whole packing and stuff, so, uh, l let's just head over to like to that place that uh, Sushi was Yay! talking about loudly yesterday. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, if we wanted to see about getting like a job or something while you're here. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. So, uh, Hmm. Alright, so 
as you uh, head back to the Harvester's Hall, um, you head back to the uh, front desk. Now with most of the crew there. Um, I guess, I guess, uh, I'll just say, uh, hello, uh, sir, sir? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> why do we <coughs> first again? You, uh, interrupt him while he was, I uh, taking a smoke from a pipe. One of those long Gandalf pipes. Respect. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nah. What can I do for you? Um, yes, uh, hello again, uh, Corvus, uh, I brought here, like, uh, the rest of the crew here. All this right. is our captain. Alright. Nice to meet you. So, the little one said that y'all were looking to find work through the harvesters of the Shalm, and then tried spinning fanciful tales, which, frankly, I find unbelievable. As in, I literally cannot <laughs> believe them. Fanciful tales. Yes, yeah, something fanciful of. Tales? Yes, fanciful tales. Of uh, single handedly defeating uh, powerful fiends. And well, I, mean, I, I Frankly, oh, I just. I know about single handedly. Without, but a, single, a, without a single. Uh, without a single shred of experience. Okay, maybe not single handedly, but she did no. deal like. Us as a group, we she did, did knock a him real of... bad and like instantly bloody him. So yeah, I did not say We had experience. Yeah. So you did have experience. Mm -hmm. Why didn't we you... killed a few things? Well, we didn't say we didn't have. Just is forgetful. Well, she or did um, say that she mom, didn't have. I'm trying to be modest. Right. Orvis is not a good spokesperson. No, Don't no, be modest, no, you not. have to sell yourself. Oh yeah, I always gotta do that. Yes. This is an employer, not a... Yes, nothing more not modest than claiming to single-handedly kill a powerful devil. That's the peak of modesty. <laughs> That's your interpretation, uh, sir. I tried to explain that it was something I asked if you had any experience, and you said no, and then you said that you killed the devil. Yeah, well, that was Bit when hell. I literally just started. That was literally well, the first time No, it time wasn't I when you started. You know when you started? We fought pirates. We yeah, fought we pirates fought pirates. Yeah, but, but, yeah. Literally after, but literally afterwards, it was yeah. just like... That I whole mean, kerfuffle. That, yeah, I mean, like, after that, we we actually did a bunch of stuff in that town before fighting the. We killed, the, we killed Yon T. But, uh, but at yeah. the same time, but at the same time, that wouldn't be it's considered a weird giant You almost got like, like a single snake. <laughs> you almost died from the to house. a garden snake. It was I'm not, fine, but I'm still. Not, I'm saying, like, I experienced that, but at the same time, it wasn't, like, a successful one, so why would I even say that? Experience is experience. experience. <laughs> if you learn from it, it's experience. Almost dying learned. to left snake, you learned from that. <laughs> you learn oh. more yeah, from yeah, your we, failures we than you do your success. Oh, left snake, praise be his name. Um... <laughs> I think Left Snake might have been a girl, actually. <laughs> left Snake was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> left Snake. It's a little hard to tell from a snake without picking it up. <laughs> Didn't we actually try yes, to pick Corvus it up? Yes, Corvus did try to pick it up many times. Oh, I that's right. <laughs> uh, all right. So, mm. from the sound of it, it seems that you do have quite a bit of experience under your belt. It's just the person that y'all chose to. Come and see to about. Uh, I I was the person who chose to come here. She uh, is not a good spokesperson for this. Honestly, didn't know she was duty. coming over here. Because right. uh, we plan on coming we, here sometime today. We thought she was going to 
um, the temple where her religion is, uh, cause that's we the whole thing. We just went out to get limes. They did, they did get limes uh, and lemons, and the lemons were delicious. Right, right. Mm. She ate I just lemon simply like thought to be different. I just thought to be different and spontaneous, you know? I, I tell the man that sushi ate a lemon like an apple. <laughs> That's horrifying. It's not I respect way to it. Eat a lemon. I respect it. It's weird. You can also eat onions that way, it's delicious. That is disgusting. Ew. So. You never had a caramel covered onion? Alright. Well, uh, so if. If you are looking to. Have your crew affiliated with the Hunters of the Shalm. Uh, you will need to pass a. Uh, you will have to pass the contract first. Contract. Yes, yes. We'll have to. We'll have to read the whole thing over. It's very simple. Uh, we're going to find a very simple request that you must fill fulfill. And he uh, opens a desk drawer and thumbs through a uh, bunch of uh, papers and pulls one, uh, this is, uh, pulls one out and says, ah, here's, here's a good one. And there's, <coughs> there's an artificer in Niverum who is requesting the web sack and a poison sack of the uh, of some giant spiders. You can easily find them just off the path between Medicto and Nivrim. Oh, all right. There's no it's the it's, it's the closest city south of here. Just follow the path through the woods. Uh, into the woods. A, y yes, into the woods, <laughs> and you'll be able to find uh, it. Uh, you'll come to a split in the forest, and going to the west will take you to. Agriga, and going to the east will take you to Navorum. Uh, but you will have to bring the you'll have to bring three poison sacks and three web sacks from the giant spiders that populate the forest to the artificer there. Okay. His name okay. is Mavis, and he runs a shop there. It's, uh, getting to that town should only take about, uh, three Snow. days travel, uh, by walking. Shorter, Did if you have a cart. Hello, Mavis. Huh? Uh, Varen is going to see if somebody can write this down as he's talking. It's all written, it's all, uh, here in the contract of, uh, it's, you, he hands you a paper and there's just a contract that says, uh, uh, recipient Mavis, uh, 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 Mavis request. Last name. Request. Uh, m there is no last name. It's just Mavis. Uh, request three poison sacks, three web sacks uh, of giant spiders. Um, location or er, uh, the uh, recipient location. Uh, uh, I was like, fun, thank you. Yeah, okay, yeah. You just grab it without reading the rest. Uh, uh, I mean, like, yeah. it, it, we already got the detail on the what, the how, and the why, yes. and the where. What else do we need? Well, you're going to need one of these, but it will be a uh, uh, 500 gold deposit. And he pulls out a bag, with, he opens it, and... It's like opening a fridge. There's that... Or, it's like opening a freezer where you can see the cold air coming out of it. He says, This uh, this will ensure that the uh, parts that you harvest will stay in good condition. It can, hold up, to a it can hold up to 100 pounds. Uh, but it will be a 500 gold deposit... Once you complete the contract and return here, you will be officially affiliated with us. You may keep it, and you will get half your deposit back. Sounds good. Is okay. there uh, a way we could get a contract we could complete on our way back? 
Uh, if you were full members, yes, but this is an initiation of okay, sorts. Well, then we'll just have to see if we can, like, guard a cart on the way back or something. Because... You don't have to do things on the way back. To... That's so much wasted time. Read a book? Mm. I don't have books. They're all in the, the Athenaeum. Copy a book. You copy uh, a book. If you're traveling by foot, tools. it'll be about three days. If you're traveling by cart, it'll be about a day and a half. Uh, that's without <laughs> going into the forest and collecting the... Uh, required uh, pieces. Sounds good. Anybody have 500 gold? I mean, I assumed we'd all be pooling from everyone in the party. Uh, I have you nothing. Except Lord Cax who's asleep on the ship. I assumed Lord Cax went out drinking and is just day drunk by now. Yeah, Lord Cax um, is always day drunk. I, I don't have... think I've ever seen him sober. I don't know if I have either. I have 78 gold. Five silver and one copper. Well, I'll put forward 100. I will put 50. Okay, that's 150. We need another 350. Corvus, how much money do you have? Corvus. Like knocking on bird hollow skull sounds. <laughs> you're muted, Corvus. Gun metal. Yeah, you're muted. Uh. I mean, like, we've got some money in the ship fund, but we don't have enough, I don't think, because we no, spent so much on the not, last not bank. Enough. Uh, I can put 100 towards it. I mean, like, you, uh, you, you've put more than your share into the, of your own money into the ship fund. I know that much. Yeah. Okay. I've tapped him. I've seen you continuously. Um, okay, so now we're at 250. Uh, yeah, I, can tr I can put in my other 28, but uh, I don't think that's going to help. Um, Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. No, I no, I mean, I, I just saw how much gold Corvus has. I know. She has most she hasn't bought anything. Yeah, she has 701. She could spend... She could pay for this on her own if she was just here. If Gunmetal was just Volunteer Corvus to pay for the rest of this. Alright. You know what? I volunteer Corvus to pay for all of it. No. Um, uh, it was her idea. Expressing your... Expressing your status as captain, you have Cor... You order Corvus to pay for the rest of it. Uh... And uh, the halfling gives you the uh, bag. How much is? So everyone, go ahead and mark off uh, the amount of gold I took you're 50. spending. And I, I, did, I did the fifty. Go ahead and uh, mark off uh, Corvus, uh, or go ahead and uh, write down how much Corvus is gonna have to mark off. Uh, that would be a hundred and fifty, wouldn't it? No, two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, yeah, and he hands you the uh, bag. It's chill to the touch. Uh, go ahead and, Varen, go ahead and add yeah. a bag of colding to your inventory. Okay. This is, a, this is a useful tool. It is. It's like a bag of holding, but a ho it can hold uh, only a fifth of the uh, material, but it keeps it from perishing. I feel like, I feel like you just want this, be uh, you're just talking about this because you want me to allow you to have this in my game no. so you can store corpses. No. Uh, because that's what... 
You already gave us with the body bag of holding. I didn't actually. That's not a body bag of holding. It's just a body bag. You yeah, it's just a body bag. Oh. You just pretend it's a body bag of holding. Uh, <laughs> Flash no. just pretends it's a it's it's <laughs> it's a holding. It's a bag of holding. See how much no, Flash can just fit in it. Uh, no, no. I'm not adding this also, just to convince you to t put it in your campaign. This is actually a very useful thing. I know. It is that... especially useful for this specific uh, group. Yes, it because they, they are specialized in harvesting monster parts to sell to customers. Yeah. Uh, they are monster hunters. Essentially. So when we get back, we have the option to either give it back for half the deposit, or we can keep it? No, no, you... Once you become a full-fledged member, uh, you can keep it, but you will only get half of your deposit back. Oh, okay, we, we, we get the money back and keep it. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. They get some of the money back and keep it. And you get half <clears> the money back. As okay. for your question about uh, whether or not there are uh, jobs on the way back, if you wish, you could hunt something on the way back and then return and see if there is any market for uh, what for the parts you have harvested. No. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of space in there, so if we have extra room, we can always just put any monster parts we uh, find. That's what he said. And you... Yes. And uh, we do have a market for general parts, though they do not sell as much as they would if it was part of a contract. I'm sure. Yes. Uh... Uh, oh. once you complete this contract and you are a full member, uh, I'll explain to you how the, how to proceed in the future. Well, right. we need to find, we need to find Tross and let him know that we'll be heading out. Yeah. Alright, All right. so, where do you go to look for Tross? Uh, was he on the ship? No. No, he was staying at the the place. He actually has a place here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go to his house, which is an apartment, something. He has a room, and it has to do with the the academy. I don't know where it is. If it's inside one of the things, or if they have buildings in the district. Probably ask. Yeah, let's go to the institute and ask. All right, uh, the institute or the Athenium? Uh, the Athenium is closer. Is closer. Uh, the one that's closer would be the Athenium. Okay, let's go to the Athenium then. All right. The Athenium. You go to the, the Athenium, Athenium, and you do see Trosses there. He looks pretty tired. Uh, he's sitting at a table with a mountain of books around him. Oh. Uh, hey, Tross. Professor. Oh. Hello there. Uh, what brings you here so late? I thought you were going to bed. It's morning, sir. Oh, no, I did it again, didn't I? Uh, he, uh, closes the book and says, well, uh, Sorry, sorry for disappearing on you. Uh, then uh, I had to. Uh, something you said. I wanted to go and look into stuff. Uh, so, uh, 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 how is uh, how how are you this morning? I got <laughs> some limes. Oh, that's good. And lemons. Oh, nice. And guavas. Ooh, sounds exotic. Hello. Yeah, it was delicious. Very expensive, though. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try some myself. Yeah, uh, I'd recommend it. Uh, yeah, we bought about ten. They're on the ship. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, also, we got a, uh, contract? <laughs> yeah. 
something like that. It's just a little test, but With that's the, a temporary uh, job. Hunt hunters thing. Oh, uh, the harvesters? Yeah, them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's always a good source of income. Yeah, we got co. Um, now I've completed a few contracts of theirs in my time. Yeah, we're gonna go see some spiders. Yeah, we we need to get yep. some uh, poison stacks and web stacks for uh, uh, one Mr. or Mrs. Mavis in Navorum. Mm -hmm. Navorum, Navorum. I think that's it's like just south of here. Yes, yes. Uh, giant spiders you might be able to find uh, in the dense forests uh, that are it sounds nearby. Good. That's uh, that's where we were located to. Yes. Off uh, the beaten path. Yeah, well, uh, do be careful and uh, be wary of dire boars. I'm sure if we find one, we'd probably take it down. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Sound? I know that boars on their own are a hassle. Yes. Dire boars tend dire to. Uh, Oof. Yes, they tend to hunt in groups. Well, we'll keep an eye out. All right. Uh, well, uh, I am going to get some rest. Then, if it is morning, uh, I will. Uh, what were you researching? Oh, uh, no, I, I was just I was looking into different uh, different uh, interpretations of the shattering event. Oh, okay, okay. End of matter. <clears throat> After yes, the there's matter. a number of different interpretations uh, between it being from a, uh, a god being ripped apart to a god angrily uh, uh, lashing out to uh, just a god being sad. Oh, God stuff. Well, yes, the gods are the ones that shape the world. I mean, uh, yeah. From what I understand, it's most likely God as in just a powerful world-shaping being, which, if it's not a God, then, well, Spooky. if there is a difference, then I do not care. There's really no... Uh, the gods are great. Yes. Anyway. <clears throat> Either Sonic is a god or could kill God. And I do not care <laughs> if there's a difference. I do not care if there's a <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, uh, I was just looking into different interpretations of the Shattering. See if we can glean any uh, parallels between that and the recent bout of earthquakes. Well, I'll let you know if I have any more weird shattering related dreams. Yes, please do. Uh, do you have a notebook to write down? Uh, if you I can. don't have a proper notebook, but I have some scrap paper on the ship. He uh, hands you two silver and says, Here, uh, go buy yourself a, uh, uh, a notebook. You can, uh, you can buy them for fairly cheap here uh, at the uh, counter. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yes. Uh, do they have uh, graphite to work with, or only ink? Uh, they do have graphite. And he tosses you a uh, couple copper. Ah, good, good, good. Uh, I, I prefer working with graphite, honestly. Uh, I, I prefer ink. I mean, ink is well and good. It's more permanent. But it's also messy, and if I spill the ink, it's... Ink is harder to work with on a ship. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and it's also more expensive. I always prefer brush and ink to these quill things. Yeah, well, you also prefer blocks of ink, so... And I don't have a grindstone. And cop and bronze coins, from what I heard. It... it... look! I could buy things when I was on the ship 
with bronze coins, it was a thing. I, are you I think sure it's not because you're some sort of princess, and they just did no. it because they feared retribution? No, it was before I was a princess. I was like, I was like five. I did some chores. I got some coins. I went to the quartermaster, bought a lemon, ate it. Was it one of those it things like where? Was it one of those things where, like, the coins only have value on that ship, like the mining towns I, used to have in uh, Macria? I always, I don't know. I, I swear, I went to like a bar in like uh, I've a pirate haven, um, it, pirate haven, and I was it, able it to could pay for something there. Are you but, sure you're not thinking of a uh, company script? I don't. I don't think that works for pirates, does it? I think I pirates know. will take anything if it can be melted down. That too. Mm -hmm. And if you were buying it... <laughs> huh? And if you were receiving it on the ship and spending it on the ship... Well, then I, you I went into making town a, like, a couple times when I was little. I went to the bar, I had some nice times, I talked to the people. It was fun. The, the drunk people liked to talk with me. It was a nice time. Okay, but... That's concerning. Yeah, but that is concerning. Also, like I said, pirates, they'll take it... <coughs> pirates will take anything if they can melt it down and make it into a weapon, so... Or if they can leaf it and make it appear as something else. Anything of value? Huh? Anything is worth anything if you ask for fine, what, fine, fine enough. Yeah. yeah. But you know anyway, what is priceless? Knowledge. Exactly. That is actually what Says I was going to say. with his nine intelligence and nine <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> that is actually what I was going to say. What with us being in a uh, house of Ayun. And knowledge is uh, strength. Yes. You know, you, Knowing if you're going battle, to keep... I, I gotta say this, if you're going to keep making fun of me for being a princess, you've gotta at some point stop making fun of me for not having a real country. You gotta pick one. Do we... do we though? Why? You're a princess of a non-sovereign state. It works fine on paper. Or I mean, not. We have trade relationships with the country that is there. It doesn't claim our island. It's just assumed that we're a part of them, but we're not. Really? Then you should really make a campaign. You pay well, taxes no. to them? No, we just trade. Do you pay taxes on what you trade? I I think... Well, I mean, it, it's complicated because it goes through smuggling channels. Uh, I don't think but like, that's legal trade. <laughs> yes. Well, it's if you if you if you're paying taxes to the kingdom, which uh, we're not which paying claims, taxes. Well, no, if you're paying taxes for the trade with the kingdom that you are a part of, then mm. you're not a sovereign nation. Well, I mean, to be fair. Trading between different well, nations. There's a difference tend to between attack. Well. well, you're thinking of tariffs. Not yeah. There's a difference between taxes and tariffs. Also, oh, welcome I back, know, uh, Natalie. Took 250 of your gold. Hmm. All I know uh, is that like. I know this from when I had to come back here because like I couldn't bring my phone with me. Yeah, let us know <laughs> whenever you're gonna up. step away. Uh, yeah, please. Um, but yeah, uh, oh. basically the party had to get a uh, had to gather a total of five hundred to uh, rent out a bag of colding. Uh, and you mm. put the most money in, uh, but by percentile, I put the most money in. She gave more right. because she gave all that she had. Uh, by percentile oh. of my total wealth, <laughs> yeah. I put in more. Yeah. Yes. Because that okay. was more than half of my money. Though she only gave two mm -hmm. copper pieces, well, I mean, it she gave How more than Baron the king. Have? I mean, Baron would have the second least amount of money, except for maybe... I don't know about Lorcax, but... I know Levere hasn't bought as much as me, and Baron has put more money 
uh, by percentage into the party fund. I will let you know that as of as of right now, I have uh, 345 gold. I After have 192. Mm. After the so that's yeah, so that's that's about a third of your money you put in. I put yeah. in more than half. Yeah, I started I started this session with uh, 458 gold. I I really need to make more money so I can get full plate. I I put all my money on half plate, and the cloak of protect. Okay, the cloak of protection is where I put most of my money. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, Doctor Tross goes ahead and uh, leaves the uh, Athenium to head home and go to bed. Well, go to uh, meditate. Have a good night, mm -hmm. Dr. Tross. We'll come back in a few days. Can you? It get is us far too audience? bright to be night. It doesn't matter what rest. time it is. Yes, good rest. Sleep. All right. Have a good sleep. And you have a good trip. Right. Have, have a good mm -hmm. rest. We'll see you. If you uh -huh. need anything... Should I leave my retainers here? I mean, we're going to go hunting, so... Uh, well, that's up to you. Ramen, what do you think? Ramen's not here. They're still on the ship. Last you saw, they were still asleep. Well, then let's... I guess I'm leaving him, them here. Um... Do you want me to tell them... Do you want me to leave a note or something? Well, if you need anything, just ask Ramen for help. <laughs> He's a good scribe. Anyway... Uh, we need to go rent a, a cart or something. Hmm... Or we could walk. Mm. Either way. Uh, Good night, Dr. Trust. I really don't have, uh, um... <clears throat> Good night. Uh, you have a wonderful day. And he walks Did off you care? into the uh, distance. Let's get you a notebook and some graphite, and then, uh... Yeah. Oh, do we want a cart? I mean, if we get a cart, we have to get, like, a, a horse or something. Or just a large animal to pull it, right? Mm, technically, yeah, but... Mm. Yeah. I guess it depends on how quickly you want to do this, and if you really want to spend the extra money. Yeah. So, uh, you get your, uh, graphite and, uh, notebook pretty easily, um, Hooray. and, uh, head to the outskirts of the uh, town following the, uh, uh, what is called, uh, Ryder Road, um, named after the royal family, which had, uh, paved the, r well, not paved, uh, but had uh, cleared the force to make the uh, trade route between the cities a lot less treacherous over uh, the last few centuries. Um, and you do find uh, stables where you can rent a cart and horse if you wish. Hmm. All right. So we're Let's gonna go be see how much a cart would be. Mm. All right, and I will say Lorcax has joined you by this point, but is day drunk and incoherent. He, he just like slips into like uh. a Asian accent. Uh. <sighs> All right. Well, you know what they well, say about Australia. Huh? And Let's get a so, cart. Um, so, like, <coughs> all right. I basically Walk. want to like, uh, like, be no nonsense about it and try to get it for like a cheap deal right now. Let's just walk into the cart place. All right. That uh, you see a half elven uh, man is running the counter at the uh, stables and uh, sitting there with. Uh, He's got some glasses, he's got sandy hair, he's got some olive skin, uh, and he's Hello. looking How through a ledger. 
Oh, uh, uh, hello there. Uh, what can I do for you, little one? Um, I was thinking that we could use a cart on our travel to, uh, what, what was it again? Um... Uh, we're heading to... Nivorum. Yeah. Uh, we need our, we need a, uh, a cart to travel to Navorum. I was wondering, uh, how much that would be? Uh, that depends. Are you looking to rent, or are you looking to purchase? Uh, rent. We, we rent. can't take care of a cart. Yeah, okay. And, uh, how long do you expect to long term. have it for? Um, well, we were told that it was about a one-day trip each way, so... <laughs> one and a half. Uh, let's say... Five days? Yeah, five days. Mm, five so days. That's a long yeah. time. Mm -hmm. We and were... Well, we have to do some hunting, and then we have to, you know... Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, and, uh... I'm assuming you're going to be renting a horse as well. Uh, how many Probably horses? Probably for the best. Standard is two, right? Uh, it, it depends on the cart. Is it a uh, standard cart or is it a covered wagon? Uh, we we only need enough for the five of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I would suggest a covered wagon and two horses. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, uh, the total will be, uh, for five days, uh, 75 gold. Oh. Mm -hmm. I... Well, I'm, I'm Anybody just Anybody have gold? I only have 20, 28 gold. I just hold my gold in a little pile in my little paws. It is 15 gold a day. I hand over 25. I, I put the 28 on the table. Alright, 25 plus 28, that's going to be 53. You still need another 22. Mm. And we'll pop down 22. Right. Slide it over. Alright, wonderful. Uh, right this way, he uh, takes it and... Uh, mm. uh, He uh, takes it and leads you to a, uh, a covered wagon, and uh, he grabs two horses and starts hitching them. One has a uh, burnt orange, uh, uh, a burnt orange coat with uh, white splotches, and the other is uh, a uh, is a gray. Uh, they're both stallions. Um, and he hitches them and says, all right, and, uh, what is the name, uh, what is the name, uh, what is your name? He says, uh, heading back to the book. Uh, name as a group? Either an individual or as a group, it matters not. What's the name for? Mm -hmm. So we have record of who we rented it out to. Mm. Push oh, the bird. Uh, Push the bird in front. You. It's Corvus. You really want this? You really Corvus. want to do this? Just pointing at the bird's head. Cor see Corvus. I. I am right. just letting you know. All right. Anything will go back at you guys. All right. And how do you spell you that? Put it in money. Yes, and now you're putting the full responsibility on someone who didn't put any money in. How exactly. do you I how do you spell I, that? All right. Well, Corvid is just like how you would spell like Corvid, like C O R, then V. Then follow that up instead of ID, you go US. Right. That was quite a roundabout way of spelling it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> just sign right here and just just being uh, hands you educational about he, my kind. He hands you the quill and uh, your kind. He hands you the quill and slides the book to you and points to themselves. a line right next to your name. 
just sign right here. Mm. Alright, I'm signing it. Alright. Alright. Uh, so, uh, once you sign it and the ink is dry, he closes the ink and says, Wonderful, and I expect to see both the horse and the cart back in five days' time. Uh, I Sushi. Alrighty then. Sushi, quickly, roll perception. <coughs> what? Why do I keep rolling perception? Twenty. Yeah, okay. Non-natural, dirty tw 20. Alright. Does that get me anything? Nope. Uh, Fuck! So, as you... Uh, Fuck. <clears throat> Fuck this. So, uh, go ahead and uh, roll... Or, not roll. Uh, go, you go ahead and uh, get the cart. Who's going to be uh, at the front, front driving the thing? Uh, mm. Not Levere. You know what? You know what? I'll I'll I'll, I'll drive it. Oh, I'll no. drive it. You guys put me up on this. I'll take full responsibility for maneuvering this thing. I can't awesome. you remember what happened with Corvus and the camel. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right now, right now, at the moment, at the moment, I am not willing to let any animal get a rise out of me. All right. You hear me? Uh, just a word of caution. Muravik is no longer here to tell the animals to calm down. Technically, every time I get a rise of you, out of you, you're letting an animal get a rise out of you. So, uh, as you uh, start heading down uh, right a road into the... Let me double check my notes to see You've what the force failed. is called. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Alright. Hold on. What is it called? Where are my notes? Where is it on my notes? The four... Ah! Oh, the Polycarp Woods! Uh, that's what it is. As you, uh, drive the... If, as you start heading the, uh... Uh... As you start driving the cart... Or the wagon through the Polycarp Woods... Uh, the trees start to very quickly uh, over uh, overshadow the sun, creating a canopy uh, high above you where only streaks of light uh, come down, uh, in small, uh, leaving splotches of sunlight in the, uh, on the ground. It is strangely serene as the... Uh, it is strangely serene as quickly you hear the... Hold on, hold on, where's the... Where is... Where is it? Oh, right. The ambience I was going to play uh, quickly... Or the ambience I was going to play ended up getting uh, copyright stricken. Or taken down for some reason, so uh, we'll fast forward to it being night. Go ahead and roll a. Uh, go ahead and roll a animal handling. Corvus. I do them. I know. Damn, how bad this goes. So oh. you, yeah, you had a pretty good time uh, riding. Uh, eventually, mm. uh, after several hours, you ended up. Uh, the sun eventually sets, and you start to get tired. The horses are starting to get tired, and <clears throat> I'm getting tired. Yeah, you get the feeling that this is probably around the time to start uh, setting up camp and stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. This is a good time to, like, do a, r a pit stop right now. <sighs> yeah. Horses are very sore right now. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. And he's just like <sighs> laying down in the back. Yeah, Lorcax has been passed out like five minutes after <laughs> the trip started. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so, what? you pull the wagon off to the side of the road uh, and uh, mm -hmm. start to set up a camp. Mm -hmm. uh. So, yes. what do y'all do? This is the first time y'all uh, spent the night on the ro on a road rather than on the sea, or in. I mean, we we did spend a night in the desert once. True, yeah. you did do that. I did mm. forget about that. Uh, uh, we'll have to set a watch. Who takes first watch? Ah, uh, uh, guys. Uh, so uh, I have a little something I haven't really used yet. But. Might take me a few oh, minutes. What would that but, be, Captain? Uh, Baron's gonna start ritualistically, ritualistically casting Layman's Tiny Hut. Ooh, that's a good one. So, good one. you spend about ten minutes uh, focusing, and all of a sudden, a dome. A, well, not all of a sudden. Over the course of the ten minutes, the dome slowly. Uh, trickles all the way down, encompassing y'all in a, I believe, ten foot radius. Yep. All right, ten foot radius. That'd be so. That'd be a s essentially sixteen by sixteen. Yeah, y'all can. Y'all have more than enough room to. With all the that's small, enough. yeah. With all this, considering Varen's the only character that's tall, uh, y'all have more than enough Should room. Should be just enough to fit the cart and the horses if we move the horses. A, around. Having the cart and horses will make mm -hmm. it pretty cramped. Actually, I don't think the cart yeah. would... No, yeah, the cart would be able to fit, but it'd take up like half the hut. Yeah. The, the I mean, to be fair, some of horses. us could sleep in the cart. You know, that yeah. is a really good... That is a really good point. You just have the small sleep in the cut, uh, hut in like a little pile. And what and, color uh, do you make the dome? Uh, I choose. make it bl blend in with the surroundings. All right. The colors uh, of our surroundings. All right. So you make it a a, a sort of a, a green to match the grass. It is a dome still, like a smooth dome that can't be changed. But you are able to give it a pattern to look like it's grass. So it's camo pattern. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. So from th from a distance, it looks like it's just a weird hill. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, who gets first watch? Guess we don't really need watch necessarily. Yeah, the hut's impenetrable, uh, isn't it? I mean, so it can still come up like underneath us, as far as I know, because it's just it's a dome. It covers above mm. the ground. We got an alarm spell instead. Eh, whatever. Mm. Yeah. I mean, and people uh, can still right like now, if anything. People can still like teleport into it, like if they have dimension door. Mm -hmm. uh, if anything, I just want to be near the horses to make sure they're taken care of right now. Right. I want to make sure that the pause does not. Or well, it's, it's impossible to not be near the horses, the horses considering <laughs> how big horses are and the size of a dome. Corvus sleeps oh, in I mean, a, in the center of the horses. She she has them lie down in the shape of a nest, and then <laughs> make a nest out of their uh, tail hair. <laughs> I will take second watch. All right. Well, there's still the matter of who gets first watch. Second watch is the worst uh, watch. I'm take, I'm, I'll take I'm taking last first watch. watch. I'll take okay. Last watch. All right. So first watch is Corvus. Uh, Corvus, do you have dark vision? Uh, the answer to that is yes. Okay, go ahead and roll perception. When did you get dark vision? Wait. Oh, it, I, wait, wait. Moo is the only one without dark vision. I, I remember now, Moo Ravik yeah. was the only one without dark vision. We went over this during the uh, catacombs. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was really complicated. <laughs> He was also the only one that could find a way around the area. Yeah, because it was a labyrinth. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm 
just gonna go ahead and roll now. Roll your perception. perception. Okay. Uh, the answer to that is 17. Alright. During your watch, uh, you hear the uh, clip-clopping of hooves. And looking at the road, uh, you can see in the distance there's seems to be another cart uh, just walking along the road. Uh, a single horse cart with a single driver. It looks like there's some baskets in their uh, cart. Uh, it's hard to tell because it is still dark, but the uh, the person driving the cart seems to be a, a dragonborn, and they're just driving along the road. That's the only thing of note that you notice on your watch. Mm. Gotcha. Okie dokie. With the nature of dark vision, it is difficult to... You can't really tell what color scale the Dragonborn would be due to the nature of mm. uh, dark vision. You don't see color. It's all grayscale. Okay. All right. Yep. Just because of how terrible uh, the, the virtual dice have been going for me, I rolled the actual d20 that I have. And yep. uh, I rolled a 19. All right. In total. Nice. As, a 17. Uh, all right. <laughs> a few hours later during Levere's watch, yeah, you're keeping an eye on the forest more than the road. and You notice something in the distance, uh, sound of uh, trotting really fast. And looking in the distance, you see a group of very large uh, creatures moving around. Uh, there seems to be about four of them. Uh, and from their silhouette, they look large uh, and porcine. Uh, from your best guess, they might be a pack of dire boars. They have not noticed the dome or are not paying any attention. Uh, the nature of the dome is you can see out of it, but nothing can see into it. Uh, they seem to be chasing mm -hmm. something in the forest. Uh, All right. Probably that Probably that merchant that would die. The, the merchant was on the road. This is the and was hours ago. Uh, this is uh, you're looking more into the forest itself. Just a traveler. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, uh, I guess Trot was not wrong. Uh, the uh. All right. The next watch. All right. So you let the dire boars go without uh, any issue. Uh, who has last watch? Sushi. <laughs> All right, uh, Sushi, go ahead and roll perception. First watch or last watch are always best. Um, perception. Well. Uh. As you're uh, watching, you get a bit distracted because you decide to look through your things and realize that you have a, an additional 35 gold that wasn't there earlier in the day, last time you checked. Go ahead and mark that uh, you have 35 more gold. Um, okay. Sure. Uh, what? I just confused rat noises. Yes, and that confuses you throughout your uh, watch. Thankfully, nothing really goes on through the watch. and The sun starts to uh, rise, though. It's difficult to see through the thickness of the forest. You don't really realize it until the beams of light uh, through the leaves end up uh, uh, peeking into the dome. Uh, and eventually you all wake up. Go ahead and all of y'all mark a long rest. Uh, as it is uh, morning. <clears throat> you still have about half a day's journey to... Uh, to uh, uh, 
Noivorum, uh, Niverum, uh, you still have about half a day's journey to Niverum, and you still need to get the, uh, uh, spider parts. It was pretty easy for me to tell that I, I had 35, uh, more gold, uh, because at the time, I had zero gold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, uh, spent your entire watch counting and recounting, wondering where it came from. Yeah. Let's go find spiders. Yeah. Alright. Alright. All right. Kill some uh, giant spiders. Are y'all, uh, leaving the horses with the cart, or are you gonna bring them into the forest? Probably shouldn't bring them into the forest, but... How about we, um, we have Lorcax watch the cart? Yeah. That is a good idea. Um, Lorcax? Yeah, well, let's just leave. Yeah. Lorcax, uh, grumpily agrees, but on the condition that he gets some extra rations. On the condition that he can continue to be day drunk. Yes. Um, I open my door and I give him a ration. Yeah, alright. Yeah, this'll do. <laughs> he starts to eat. But actually, that was actually a really mm -hmm. accurate wow. voice for Lorcax. Yeah. Was. Thanks! I think my, I think my flu voice definitely helped with that. I think so. it did. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget, right, right, right. my, 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 uh, storage space has like six bedrolls. Oh right! I forgot about that. Yeah, you, because you didn't mention it before, I'm gonna say you open it, when you open to get the rations, you notice the six bedrolls. Like, we're all just sleeping oh, on yeah. like, hey. The, the food There's for also the horses. Tent. There's a whole tent. Uh, well, I mean, right. they don't need a tent right. inside so of a dome, the... except for privacy. So aside from the still... fact that we could have been... In my inventory, I do still have those those lollipops. Oh god, they're really bad by now. It's just sugar. Lollipops don't go bad. They were unwrapped. And stuck to it each other. It doesn't matter. Candy doesn't go bad. It does oh, if dust sticks to there. it. Yeah, th there's weevils on it, and there's dust, like, Where pocket lint. They came from the Russians! Ah, but, but Silver, you, you forget. Weevils I am a are protein. I care not. Yeah, yeah, weevils are just extra protein. No, like, don't protein. even care about the dust or lint. Yeah. It's just like, ah, yes, food. Yeah, you just pull out this disgust. It looks like it's been rolled around on the floor of a convenience store bathroom. It is it is a mass of three three stuck together ancient lollipops of unknown flavor and age. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, my storage space now contains forty seven rations, seven moons tier cigarettes, a thirty by twenty foot tent, six bed rolls, two backpacks, and one three by three foot cage. I will eat one of his uh, I will eat one of Lord Cack's, uh Levere's rations. I'll eat one of the I have to close the door. You cannot get in. If you I, sneak I, in, I snuck in. If you, the, they, if you snuck in, roll and stealth behind you. Roll stealth. And you would suffocate to death because he wouldn't know you were in there, and there's no way for you to let him know. If you really, I'll, you can definitely, you can certainly try. Uh, uh, sadly, I had disadvantage, uh, so it was a five. Uh. Lavier, go ahead and roll perception. Actually, what's your passive perception, Lavier? My passive perception. It's probably bigger than five. It's nine. Yeah, so you definitely notice uh, Sushi trying to no, go in. My passive in. perception is twelve. Yeah. It, I mean, now if I wasn't wearing my armor, I would have gotten nineteen. If you but, weren't um, wearing your armor, you would have gotten locked into a into a room with ten minutes of air and then die. And no one would have noticed. My, my mummified corpse would have been found eventually. Yeah, and uh, it would be far too late to cast Revivify. <laughs> uh, but eventually... Uh, e eventually... The Give me morning, a rat rations. Morning sets in. You should Lorcax. have rations on your, on your person. Lorcax, I don't have money for that. Lorcax agrees to watch the cart. And, uh... uh so... What do y'all do? Rations are like a silver. Did you have so many of them? 
That's so, because I we, bought myself like a year's worth. So what do y'all do? Wait, why didn't we sleep inside the door? Because there's ten yeah. minutes of air. You can leave the door open. You, it it's doesn't... full of stuff, also. It ha yeah, but it, it just would add to the space we have. Anyway. Like I said. So, I like uh, that's so the spiders. I'm thinking about just going and taking right. the first step and like actually looking for these spiders. In order to get this over. Alright, yeah. so. <laughs> Y'all uh, start, start walking into the woods. Uh, the trees mm -hmm. are looming over you. The uh, sun is getting dimmer and dimmer as the canopy grows thicker and thicker. And as it becomes very dark, you realize this is the same forest as the one by uh, 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 Lucretia. This is the this is the same properties as that forest, the forest of eternal night. Uh, the <clears throat> This cool. sounds like fun. Uh, as the uh, trees and nature overgrowth uh, curls around you, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, end the session here tonight and start up All next right. session with y'all cool. hunting some spiders. Cool. Uh, cool. Thank you, everybody nice. on Twitch for watching. Thank you, everybody on YouTube for watching. Uh, tune in next uh, in two weeks. Uh, tune in in two weeks for the. Uh, Next session, and uh, exciting conclusion of fighting spiders, fighting spiders, yeah. or fighting spiders. Check out the uh, uh, other campaign, Chalk Beast campaign, which was mentioned earlier, uh, Realm of Zuwu. Although actually, last week it was uh, Legends of Zuwu, a uh, one shot taking place in the Zuwu universe. Uh, and also check out some of the uh, so horrible. Check out some of the uh, Let's Plays that are on it, such as uh, my uh, my Link in the Face of, the, of Evil Let's Play, or uh, what should be on, what should be posted on YouTube by the time this gets posted on YouTube is my first stream of Lords of Shadow. Um, there's also my boyfriend's uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Let's Play, which you can check out. And uh, for the comment, uh, write down what your favorite uh, forest monster is. And uh, if you want to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, I think that's all the shameless self-promotion out of the way. So uh, without further ado, uh, good night, everybody. Insert clip of Markiplier saying to ring the bell. Good night, everybody. Ciao. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ciao.